So she said, get out. <laughs> he got kicked out of an op shop. So lust to wear. Beautiful. I love Jeff Hardy. I grew up on the Hardy Boys. Who does? Westside Retro bringing the goods today. I am Brandon from Westside Retro. We specialize in mainly video games, anything retro, old, vintage, toys, clothes, you name it, but we specialize in video games. The deal done, mate. The deal done, 200 for both. So me and my, my Mrs. Monique, we do it together, but unfortunately she's at work today, so I'm out here with Brad. But yeah, we do it all together. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be able to do any of it. Have a look at that. Jeff Hardy, uh, Brandon hit me up. He found this on Facebook Marketplace and has been an absolute lad and brought this down for the trip. So this is going in the cave. I love Jeff Hardy. I grew up on the Hardy Boys. Who doesn't love Matt and Jeff? Uh, I'm stoked, brother. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And uh, look at that. That's uh, We've got an official date on it too there. So it's all official. Got to love a cardboard cutout. So... The old standees, definitely, definitely a banger. Party for the win. So we're scaling a few op shops today and they're just not really digging up the goods yet. We are doing a bit of wandering, not a lot of buying. I did get these RM Williams jeans. I'm always gonna pick those up. The Guitar Hero guitars, 35 bucks a pop. I beat Brandon to them, but I wasn't paying that. Who keeps seeing LeBron Macca's toys everywhere? They are everywhere at the minute. Brandon was pretty happy. He's rolled in and picked up some gaming stuff. The Buzz controllers, the Buzz game for the PS3. And I was pretty happy. I got a body glove, full zip, full suit, wetsuit. I picked one of these up last week. If you follow my socials, you would have seen me squeeze it on. I got the males one. This is the females. Uh, this is $100 every day. Now, a couple of vintage mugs here. Brandon took these ones home. But then we knew there was another reseller in town. And we did do a little catch up here with Bianca from The Gathered House. If you haven't followed her socials, check her out on Instagram and even YouTube now. Yeah, uh, genie bottles. These can fetch quite a little bit of money if you're lucky enough to find red, purple, or pink. Hi, guys. I just got this Post Malone shirt from Brad. Um, bumped into him at Vinny's. Along with um, Westside West Side Retro, um, check out my page too at The Gathered House. Just in time, he's actually got a mask now. We've <laughs> got a little Furby, little clock keychain thing. 99, so we're gonna give that a whirl. Furbies from the 90s are definitely one to look out for, but I've never actually picked one of these up before, so this is pretty cool. That's the catch. Rayman's got six bucks on it. Forrest, what's his name? Forrest. Christian? Yeah, he got me on the box for sure. Yeah. I they... sell him like every week. Every week, 20 to yeah, 30. Right. It's a long thing. What else you got? Winning? What's this thing? This is a lamb. It's a luster wear. Beautiful. And it's got an original shade. But it's a bit pricey, but it'll be alright. So I'm fanging around in the op shop. And there's no sign of Brandon anywhere. What happened, mate? So I walked in and the lady yelled out, where's your mask? And I said, I don't have one, can I buy one? She goes, we've got none left. So she said, get out. <laughs> he got kicked out of an op shop. Bring you all the way down here, mate. You get yourself kicked out. Come on. It's the first for everything, huh? <laughs> so, 
end result, you did get in. Yes, a lady was nice enough. She overheard the conversation. She came up with a fresh mask and said, here you go, go have some fun. So we're right now, we're right now. He's, uh, he's forgotten his mask, but uh, not an issue. We got one now, we're ready to roll to the next poppy. So let's go and have a look. I just can't live without you. I really want you, Eleanor, near me. Your looks intoxicate me. Even though your folks hate me, there's no one like you, Eleanor, really. Got my bit of vintage wool. Got a wool. Wool is always good. Always get wool. Get wool. You heard it here first. <laughs> Are you looking for specific branding or just vintage? Just anything Australian, 100% wool, usually does pretty well. Can't complain. All dressed for the occasion? Yeah. <laughs> got something, mate? Some little creams. My eyes are playing up on me and I can't read what they are, but I'm taking the four dollar risk as well. Taking the punt. Why not? Yeah. Trains, trains can do good. They can. Only a kiddies, but... Bit of Toby Maguire. My young mate loves Spider-Man, so... He's going to be rocking the uh, OG Spider-Man. Super random. That's different. Just get it because it's different. Mm -hmm. Depends on the price tag. Four bucks. Why not? I really think you're groovy. Let's go out to a movie. What do you say now, Eleanor? Can we? They'll turn the lights way down low. Maybe we won't watch the show. I think I love you, Eleanor. Love me. Thanks for that. Code. What are you going to get for that? Maybe 30. Pay three. Beautiful. Can't complain. Get a bit of a clean. Easy done. Into here. Starting to fill a bag myself. This little girl looks like we can get probably 50 bucks for her. Toy biz. Baby likes to talk. Had to check. No erosion in the battery pack, so that's a bonus and in pretty good condition. So, some vintage dolls, 92 Toy Biz. Uh, always picking up those little creepy bitches and starting to fill a bag. Just Lee, basic stuff. Longhorn RMs, a couple of pairs of RMs today. So, pretty clothing heavy, nothing major. But we're getting bits and pieces, so what do you think around here, mate? It's better than where I live, that's for sure. <laughs> Doing alright, yeah, so... You got a little bag going there too, so we've still got a few to get to, so hopefully we can get some more bits and pieces, but on to the next one. So after a few hours of scaling op shops, looking for things to find to resell, we decided it was time to move on from the op shops and head over to Cash Converters and the Mill Market to see what sort of things we could pick up. As much as we wanted to have a sleep like old mate over here did in the op shop, we had to keep soldiering on. Fakey? I'm thinking. Alright. Snagged another one, mate. Got two. Big Dahmer bars. Yeah. 
I don't know the actual VR. This one sold for 325, but this one sold for 630. It's a big jump. It's hard to say. Any listed? Yeah, there would be. Four fifty. That's bids. Seven. <laughs> Brandon went in confident, made an offer, and got a deal done. So you got the deal done, mate. Deal done. Two hundred for both. Twenty bucks off. Beautiful. So what are you thinking on this? I reckon we're going to try and push four hundred on this. Sixty bucks for that. Beautiful. Good little gig. Cashy's paying up. Hopefully. <laughs> Love it. Uh, so where we're going out to the Ballarat Mill Market. Love it out there. The friendly folk out at the Mill Market. Always love to give them a plug. They, uh, so much cool stuff. How do you go with other resellers? Are you pretty confident that you can get the job done if they've undervalued something? I might be able to. Might be able to pick a diamond in the rough, but I'm still learning. Still, still learning. learning. That's, uh, we're always learning. So we're going to fang out there, slip our dicks in and see if we can find something <laughs> good. Let's go. Not much out oh, there. Modern. But in the past, there's been some bangers in here, so always got to look. No, I love me for you. I love me for you. So, coming up a bit short. There we go. There's a barley fake for $40. <laughs> 40 bucks. That's a barley. Sons. 40 bucks. Crazy. But not everyone knows that, so. That's hard to tell sometimes. No good today. Very good. Do they sell? I don't know. <laughs> but I, they make good coffee. <laughs> That's all that matters. You're a big coffee fan? In this, yes. Beautiful. If you want to sell your uh, coffee things, <laughs> this is a bike to hit up. Oh, you know I love me, Street Sharks Coco, and look what we've found on the shelf, the Puzzle Pack Slobster. Look, they're asking 10 bucks. It has actually only sold for three, but I've got to get that. I didn't know you could get those graded. Sorry, mate? I didn't know you could get those graded, the Metallics Tarzos. I just sold a bundle of those. Fair I guess you can grade anything these yeah. days. Literally. So it was a big day, Coco. Many hours spent scouring op shops, secondhand stores, and the very lovely mill market, seeing the weird and the wonderful. It was an absolute pleasure to go thrifting with Brandon and also Bianca. So, a nice little stash there, mate. Nice little stash. Nice little stash. Nice day. A few bits and pieces. Keep us going for a couple more days. Okay, that's what it's all about. Didn't quite fill the boot today. Was a little bit slow going on the thrift, but we had fun, didn't we? Yeah, that's all it was. Good, uh, good to catch up with my boy and have a bit of a thrift with him. We've been back and forth for a while, so I appreciate you, brother. Appreciate Thank you. you so much for that, Jeff Hardy. Yeah, that's an absolute banger. But if you haven't seen Westside Retro on Instagram, go and have a look. They've got some cool stuff. If you love your video games and retro nostalgia, jump on over. See you in the next one, Coco. Ho, 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 champions. Hope you are having a very merry festive season. I just want to quickly say thank you so much, everyone, for all the support throughout this year. It means the absolute world to me. I appreciate everything. And I'm going to be back as strong as ever in the new year. I'm hoping to get a few more people like today's video. We're going to go thrift. We're going to have some fun. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Stay safe. Have fun with your family. Eat heaps and drink plenty of EV. Love you all. Now, yeah, there's a couple of videos here. Click on one of them and I uh, hope you can enjoy it. See you in the next one, Kogai.